Call me to order. Uh, Whaley Board of Assessors, Thursday, June 27th, 2024 at 6 p.m. And there was posted on our town website. Meeting is being recorded and it's also uh, uh, remotely uh, accessible. Okay, moving on agenda, new mail invoices. All right, so for Even. invoices, I have one from CI Technologies. They do our, our mapping. I can't, sorry. That's okay, if there's nothing, it's, they're just a sun gap right in my eye. I couldn't move it back to the others. And that, that's, we usually pay this, and it's usually that amount due. I mean, we're not. Yeah. Um, and then we have an invoice from the Warren Group. And this is, yeah, I, this is uh, 450 for the for the quarter. I believe so. Science and awareness. Um, no, it's just that one page. I guess you could um, initial it that you've seen it, or you can make a motion to pay that invoice. I'm not quite sure how you want to go about that. I don't care. She knows me. So that's what it's like. Sure, sure. Monthly transfer. Three, three, four, three, all three. Let's do it. It's, uh, it's the first house. I know it. She's the one that oh, okay. she passed away. Okay, okay. This one. Yeah. Didn't it sell for around six something? I know we had it assessed a bit less, but then a lot of what we're doing now is assessed. Okay. Um, initial, just like you've seen those. No. Yeah, isn't that? Yeah, long sleeve shirt. Yeah, there are. Yeah, it's Yeah. Okay, before we get into some of this other stuff here, uh, we've advertised, I guess, for another position for for the board here since Catherine is leaving out. But. I've even put it on the post in my community. Okay. You know, the HOA has a post, and I put it. I but talk, yeah, you said people are asking you questions all the time and talking yeah. to you. Yeah, and what a great way to respond to that. But as of as of noon time today, I, I asked Jessica if she got any response. Well, so, not everyone in the community actually looks at that. So whether or not that guy did, and I did, it's not my place really to knock on his door. So I have not. I I mean, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, uh, do you want me to knock on his door and say you want my position? He had said that he was very interested. He yeah. even told a neighbor that, but he does not. Half of the people don't look at Facebook because it's on okay. Facebook. Facebook. That's where our our postings are. Well, it was there and it was on a town website. It was yeah. Both. Okay. Well, if he I'm, doesn't look at the website, then yeah, don't see it either. Okay. Uh, well, I'm just telling you what I did. I I have solicited as much as I can. Okay. Well, and I haven't. I was waiting to see what we had in response. So you've got nothing? No. 
Uh, you know, I like say as of noon today, there was nothing unless Stephen heard anything. I haven't seen anything. Okay. Uh, they, what they did change, just to change the date, the Facebook, uh, I think the other ad, had a date of June 28th, oh. which was two weeks from when it first was available. And I asked her to take the date off to leave it open, so she did that. I think on the face, Facebook one, it's open date. The other one, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay. Both, both Facebook and the town website require, I mean, are only going to be seen by people who are Look using, at or who are using technology yeah. more than they absolutely have but to. But this person, my neighbor person, uses technology. No, but I mean, yeah, in general, everybody uses it now, but some people only use it as much as they have to. Yeah, well, those are both go beyond what you have to do. So, so what should that? What I should don't they know, do? Have we posted it in the post offices? Have can we put it in I the don't. school? Can we do a robocall? Can well, it's, I don't, I don't know what the town's position is on doing. Robocalls. Robocalls for a position because there's been other positions open. Well, there is one library, just one librarian or something. It's on now on the website. Uh huh. Uh, I don't know if there's any response or not. But we response went to the library trustees, maybe not to anybody here. Uh, but I don't recall in the past getting a doing robocalls. I think I saw, I think I responded to something. Maybe it was the scoop. I don't know, but it wasn't. It certainly wasn't Facebook because yeah. I never look at Facebook. Maybe it was the town website, but I'm not even sure. Well, could it could have been someone you knew here, like one of the board members, left board. No, I remember seeing it written. So okay. I, mean, okay. I, I would encourage an additional method of announcement. Okay, it sounds like maybe a local publication. Would be a good idea. Or, or you know, every there's four yeah, posts up that they don't this. have one of those reminders like they do in other communities. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, that, I don't think they have it here. Well, I can I can talk to this person in your neighborhood. Yes, that's what you should do. You must have this phone number somewhere. Yeah. Uh, he, he's, I think he'd be excellent for the okay. yeah. the other one that applied, the other two 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 that applied, um, they're the most recent. We didn't go over them during our last meeting, so I'm just gonna uh, go over everything at this mock up of the what's on the market right now. Yeah, you knew about this, so I'm not exactly Oh, and the uh, one on 11 Poplar Lane, that one uh, is. Okay. What does that mean? Contingent. They're in the process so of this selling. Selling. Uh, yeah, if there's okay. so an offer in and uh, they're making sure they have the box. Yeah. But it has a lot of square footage to look at it. It does not look like a lot. I mean, it looks like a small house, but evidently, yeah. that sells quite a bit of money. That would be cool. Everything is. Square footage. Everything is. Yeah. Okay. Something is something signed. Yeah. More vehicle access. Um. No, I had issues with radars today, so okay. I don't have that for you. Okay. But um, as need be, I'll leave them on my desk to be signed. Um, so we can go down. No abatements, but we do have a very, this is kind of for other business, but since we're getting ready to sign, we can kind of skip to this. 
Yes, it's good to the signal to get out of Yes, way. yes. Um, so this is the warrant so that the treasurer can collect um, the real estate and yeah. the security yeah. and the yeah. person's property, all that. Yeah, does. thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. When we're handing up the file to Mr. Cynthia. Oh, yes. Ask her if oh, she, does she teach at a weaving school? Teach? Yeah, or operate a weaving school? I'm not sure. She does we? Ask her about that. Okay. Sure. She's in Shelburne. You know that, don't you? She's not. She's oh, yeah, yeah. Not much. She may be doing that now. See, she wasn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm over. Ah, then what is that? Uh, so that is is that the thing you said to know? We have we um had some funds allocated to upgrade the camera system. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have no personal exemptions. Program conversion is that. So yes, um, regarding the program uh, conversion, um, we so already moving that right. That contract that we set. Uh, I don't know the details of that okay. that contract. Um, here it looks like we have um the initial cost and the annual cost. Yeah, uh, looks like just a quote. Um. I currently uh, in Conway have gone from uh, Tyler to this version that's here. Oh, okay. Uh, so you're familiar with that? I'm familiar with it, but from my experience there so far, it would be my recommendation to the board to wait on the conversion. Okay. Until uh, the bugs are worked out or something? Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. So you're going to say tell the select board about that because it's their final decision, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. That's what I kind of think it's their final decision. Well, no, it's just been what do you mean file for the conversion? Okay. So that but would be going from assess go four to five. Um, and it would just be my recommendation because currently. Um, there has been some, uh, I don't want to say data loss, but uh, data misinterpretation. Um, but then that was from going to different softwares. Where and that one, would, this is going to be the same software? The same same company. I'm not sure how okay. similar the software is. Yeah. Um, but. Well, okay, yeah, because they, they approved the software upgrade. It was, uh, Lynn sent something. Um, and uh, all their funding mm -hmm. you come out of the town budget ARPA funding or something. Did you get that notice from? I did. Lynn? Yes, and she told me that this would um this what this is what it was regards in regards to. Yeah. Um, but I didn't quite get um uh a time frame for implementation. Oh, okay. Right, it was just covered for next fiscal year for the fiscal year. Mm -hmm. So that oh the fiscal year starting the end of okay. Yeah. Oh, like that is a fiscal year. That's uh, not my fiscal year. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, yeah. The, the comment I, I, I had on this, and I think I'm, I made it to uh, David, he was here at one of our meetings, the, the uh, CESPRO APS training, $1,500. Mm -hmm. We're not paying you to get trained. That's coming out of David's budget to train you. Oh, it shouldn't be a town expense. Yeah. Well, so I think they that would be more of a discussion that would need to be taken with Catalis because that that's what they I guess charge to train the admin assistant to use that program. But if they're training you in Conway as well, mm -hmm. then they shouldn't be training you again to do it lately. It's the same program. Well, prior, sure. yeah, I see. I see your perspective, but it would be them that you would have to negotiate that with. But I agree with Which your, I, could have. I agree with your memory of the contract of services yeah. that they were providing the training. Yeah. So charging the town for it doesn't seem right. No. And I, I don't know why Lynn, Lynn would I have to ask for the five thousand mm -hmm. upgrade but well, why don't we circle it and inquire with the point? I have a question about these warrants. How come there's two fiscal preliminary fiscal year 25? Was there one done and then a, a real, realization of additional funds? There's one CPA and the other. There's three. There's one, so CPA, one CPA, but then there are two fiscal year 25 preliminary. Um, one should be personal property. Yeah, one is personal property. One is personal yes. property. Yes. Yeah. One's real estate. Okay. I don't know if that answers the question. It does. Okay. It does. I was asking what's the difference between them, and I missed it. Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty new to me too. So. <laughs> All right. Now we get a general discussion in the uh, yeah the child's program. Someone working on the application, or is it just so, accepted? I think it's been an ongoing thing. Oh. Yeah. I, I don't remember from Tuesday night, so it must have been on that. What was Tuesday night? The sure. select board and oh. the center school folk at meetings. Oh. Or two, 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 Tuesday morning or something that came in, I think, that was seemed to be working. Yeah. 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 Uh, I thought we brought that up. Did you find out if it's actually a, um, something that we can use? Yes, it is. Oh, gosh. so it doesn't okay. matter if it's ordering. Yeah. Everyone uh, agrees. Oh. Um, yeah. Wait for that. I think we have some sensor backup. Oh, Oh, yes. Um, that's uh, an item that I added. So the PC that where the camera system is stored isn't backed up currently. Oh. Um, and it should have been. It's a good thing to should. figure out. Yes. <laughs> um, so I wanted to bring that to the, to the board's attention. Um, it's, it is, I, I thought there was a hard drive or something that was backed up to. Um people we'll found that or, or not 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 that I know of. And it's it's not on like um the the town server. On the town it's server. Just on the, the local drive. Uh, no, I, I remember some discussion about being backed up somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Well, Lynn or, or Lynn or Peter, Lynn or Peter, Peter, Peter should know. Lynn was the one that, that told me that it was. Oh, that it wasn't uh, backed up. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, but you think it is backed but up? But it could be yeah. on a hard drive back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, thought it was, I thought it was connected to a hard, a remote hard drive or something. Okay. Well, you, I guess you have to ask Cynthia, I guess, if you want. 
She knows how it's backed up. Okay. And that's it was a backup. But I will inquire about that. Or, or the other the other option I hear is people, well, they back it up on a, on a hard drive or a CD and they take it with them. They put it somewhere else out of their office. So, right, so if the building catches on fire, it's somewhere yeah. else. Yeah. Or somebody ransacks the building looking for stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really want that. Yeah, they want that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, even if that is the case, um, would we want to set up some kind of schedule to have that uh, refresh or uh, update? Updated. Well, do you update it? No, I no. don't do anything. Oh. But let me ask you, Stephen. Mm -hmm. You, you. You're going to have remote access to the data in that computer, right? Uh, yes, because I connect to it directly. Right, and I thought you connect. Well, didn't we talk about backing it up? Well, one of the options was to backing it up to the cloud, um, and, and or putting the data on the cloud so you would access it that way instead of. Going through the, the town server to get onto the so, database here. So currently, I connect through a log me in. Yeah. Um, and so log me in. Uh, it's like a third party uh, the client that it's on the host computer, the one here. Yeah. And then I have access, and I can get onto that. But with that, I can only access what is on that PC. If that were to be wiped or anything then I would have a blank machine that I'd be operating with. Um, we could explore cloud like storage options. Um, I don't know how much. I'm just surprised that Lynn didn't know. Well, on that. That, it, it just surprises me that she's not aware because she was. She's been here for yeah. hundreds of years. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, Lynn. I don't mean a hundred years. <laughs> Um, I can also, I haven't been in contact with the IT um, yeah. person, um, so I could also talk yeah. to them and, and see what options yeah, are available. I, that's totally that's, what I would do. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know any of this stuff. Yeah. So, like, if, they, if we're, there is a town IT person, I would yeah. ask them both what there has been and what they recommend going forward. Excellent. I have one question about this Catalyst bill. The 10 years, what does that mean? That the service is good for 10 years? Going back 10 years. It's going back 10 years. Okay. And so this conversion, that is, I guess what I'm wondering is, is this a going to be an annual cost? What is the... So I think um, there's two, at the, at the bottom of that, there's two figures. There's initial, the, uh, initial and then the one next to that is the annual. Yeah, I think 6,500 is the annual 69. cost. 69. Um, so the 5,000, the 6,900 does, does or does not include the 5,000. It's not 100% clear to me. Gotcha. Um, it was, it's my understanding that the 5,000 would be for that first year, and then the subsequent years would be the 65. Or whatever that sending figure 69, was. yeah, 69, 60. Because I think they, they do, um, if they implement it the similar way that they do in uh, Conway, um, they charge, they have a charge, like a 1500 dollar charge um, to host it. Um, the data on the cloud. And so in that case, it would be backed up. So yeah. that would kind of solve that. But um, there's that additional charge with that. That's just, I think that Bill is using. Yeah. All right. So I will follow up with Cynthia and our IT person. And I'm, it's not metal <laughs> I'm so far beyond that. Okay. Uh, Signature thing. But getting back to maintaining the database, 
you know, in the in the scope of scope of services. What what is what would you assume this means? Assuring the town records. Including master systems are maintained current. Or maintained and current, okay. I I guess I, I would ask David, what does that mean? Maintained where? On our database? Well we are well that's I would think it was our database. I mean no, that's a good question. Because you, you're saying it, it doesn't our, say back up. It doesn't, no, it doesn't say back say up, it but it's a kind backup. of standard practice to have backup. So yeah, I think yeah. that's a good question. Those look like my underline, underlines. Okay. They're usually straight. The records of the often include maps and system records it, are maintained and current. Correct. That, but that doesn't mean that they're right. backed up. No, it doesn't. That's a different word. But then I would ask maintained and current where? On our machine here? Yeah. On the cloud or where? Why would it? it it's right here. I mean, why would it be only on the cloud? If it's up, if it's maintained on the cloud, it wouldn't be here. It would be accessible. Yeah. Well, okay. Ask. Oh, so you started your 101? I have something due today, it would do tomorrow, and then I'll start it. Okay. That's one with the 10 modules, right? Uh, and the, the signature stamp, how, how is that going to work? Yeah, but still like that. Um, well, this is a good idea. Yeah, I think who cares if it, it, how it works, it unless is. we decide it's a good idea. But who, who's going who's gonna to use it? Are we going to? Or Who? is or is it's uh, to sign the warrants it, to sign all these things that we've been signing? You just stamp it. Okay. That's what you do. Okay. I think before um, we had a larger batch of motor vehicles. Yeah, we had a ton of them. Stamp like that. Like that process. Okay, so you or the town would, would purchase these signature stamps for each of us and. You would maintain them in your office, keep them in your office? Um, yes, and it would be one stamp with three lines. Oh, one stamp with three lines? Yes. Well, can't even two. order it at the moment. Or two. Yeah. Can't, yeah. And or two. two. Okay. It's too bad you can't get three separate stamps because there's a turnaround. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's possible too. Yeah. It's just because of that. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you know, I don't know. I don't imagine these are expensive. No, I can't. They can't be. They're not they're as rubber expensive stamps. as hearing aids. No, probably not. <laughs> I mean, they're just rubber stamps. I can't imagine. Yeah, they're just rubber stamps with your name so, on it. Um, I'm seeing anywhere between 10 to $21. There you go. That's not bad. Just make sure they spell your name right. Okay. So, so do we want to go ahead with that? Is that what we're going yeah. to? Aye. I mean, do you want to go ahead with that? Do you want to not necessarily see everything before it's signed? Well, we would still see We'd it. see it. We would see it. He wouldn't be signing it. He's using the stamp. But no, we're still having. He's going to give us the thing, and we're going to stamp it. We have to. We have to see it. We have to look at it. If you get once you get a stamp, yeah, and it's available for use. Yeah, but it's available to us. What What are you saying? I'm. We start our meeting. Would, we go get our stamp and stamp our things. I I don't understand why. I, I, if that's the way it works, I think that how how would you? I just wouldn't have assumed that that's the way it works. I would assume that it allows Stephen to email us something or send us a photograph of something and say, "Do you approve this?" Oh, and he does all the stamping. I don't know. I'm I'll, just. I, uh, I'm. I think that brainstorming. I mean, I'm trying to be clear about See, that. I just, I assume that we would look at it before 
you know, and I know you're going to say email this and that and those things, but you know, you're looking at there and then stamp it as it passes around the table, like we do with a regular piece of paper, mm -hmm. except I don't have to use a pen. That was my assumption. Sure. Yeah, Jenny, sure. that was a good point. So, like, if there was a document or something that I furnished to you digitally, yeah. and then you agreed to have signed off, you would stamp it. Authorize it to stamp. It. But do you need any authorization to, to stamp our name? Um, I mean, other than you, uh, I guess providing the stamp. Like, I guess no. Okay, if you don't think so. Well, I I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, another committee I was on, I'll just say, I had a I had a stamp. I had my own stamp for my prior job, and I left it with the with the chair. So every time they wanted to approve something that you know, they needed, a, I was one of the you know, three or four board members to approve it. He would send it to me. Email, here's here's the invoice or something. Do you approve? I would write back and say yes, and he would use my stamp instead of a signature. That that's fine as long as it's clear right. what the process is. Right. But he but I assume he kept that under lock and key. So somebody coming in can't take the stamp and say, okay, I'm approving all these documents because now we've got a stamp without asking anybody mm -hmm. to do it or not. Yeah. So so we won't have to have any of these meetings over the winter. No well, meetings. Why do you need them? He's going to stamp everything. Well, well, that's, that only, right? that's only for the invoices. And the... Uh, but during the winter, we have a that's lot of things that we sign. Got it, May. You're going to be off the whole winter. You'll see. Let's get the stamp. I, 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 I I'm, I'm mixed. I, I'm not working, but I'm mixed. Well, whether we should do it or not. We'll but, table it for a next so, meeting. We don't have to decide. We'll wait right wait till I'm gone and then it's yeah. the room. You know, we'll wait for our third member, whoever that is. That's what we'll I'm waiting decide. I'm forgetting inspections and ballot so. changes. All right, so for property inspections, um, Fred asked me to come up with a system to reach out to, to residents and coordinate appointments. Um, and I have decided to, to use the information that is uh, put in when someone pulls a permit, they have their contact information. Um, and so I would reach out to the resident um, and through email or phone um, and actually provide them uh, a link um, which I could send through email yeah. um, and will also be on the accessory website. Uh, it's an application by Microsoft Office called uh, Booking. Um, and in there, people can actually request uh, appointment times. As she said, this community, there's a lot of people that don't use a computer. Really. I mean, it's just the way it is. There's a lot of what the ages in this community? Well, what medium age? Let's back up for a minute. You said when they apply for a permit, mm -hmm. what kind of permit? Um, it's like a building, building permit. permit. So is that is that the only properties we want to look at? Um, so we will also look at you know properties that have not had a site visit. For um for a while um and so that would be um a, a different process but it would just be for building permits for if they did like solar um, any additions a shed or whatever infant insulation not that we go out to check for that but that's what would show up in the for a thought and they're doing those on paper or online um it is reported to me online. Um, I'm not sure how they actually submit it to Burkov. That's who's in charge of the permitting system. Does that application ask about the uh, email address? Yeah, uh, yes. It's oh, yeah. Yeah. only yeah. that. Good. Because right. if they did and, and they got confused, they could just call mm -hmm. and say, 
I, I don't know how to do this booking. Well, I mean, first yeah, that's, that's true. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and then I could also like do it for them. So yeah. The booking thing would just be more of an organizational thing, um, I guess, on, on my side. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's not. Uh, it's for Cox building department, building inspector. Maintains that a lot of building permits. I, I don't. I think it's a separate file or location. It's not a Furcox site. Well, it, oh. it could be, but I, I thought building and building permits come from. It's like like deeds, registry of deeds that has their own their own site and their own their own protocol requirements. And I think the building department has the same thing. Yeah, it's all under the umbrella of FERCOG, but yeah. I don't think if you log into FERCOG, you're going to go direct to. Did you need a password and, and authorization well, to get I have, I have that. I, have I, just, that. I, I yeah. just put in Franklin County building permits yeah. and went directly to online, online permit center. Mm -hmm. And then if I scroll down, I can get a phone number. To call. Is that where is that reference for clock? Or is that a, a separate yeah. a separate no no it's agency? That under four clock still? Franklin County Economic Development and Planning. I don't know what the G is. I think we did not have to correct it, but I think there's a word. I don't know. Wrong 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 Franklin County. Hold on. We'll be starting inspections next week. But we know when. Yeah. Uh, just so you guys can, it's really small, so you'll be able to actually read anything. But that is what I see on my end when I when I log. Oh wow! It starts application information. You can see yeah. maybe yeah. it's a contractor. Yeah, yeah. Different contracts, contractor. type of work wow. done, estimated fees, cost, and then there's links that show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The care for building, plumbing, gas, and wiring online permit. I think you've got everything online now. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you have to be yeah, somewhat computer to. literate. Yeah. I mean, making appointments, even doctor's offices. Mm. Some don't want, you know, go, go to this website to do it. Mm which I actually prefer to what I just went through for my mom of being told when the appointment was. Yeah, they're making it for me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like going in much better and making appointments. So you can see what's open, you can see the options. Yeah. So that I definitely like about your ideas, Stephen. Okay, um, but, but how is how is that? That information is going to get into Patreon, right? And get to reach to the property Correct. records. And that's what I got to enter. That's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and so I guess what I'm suggesting is that um, when I have uh, a, a list of uh, properties, that have had you know work done that would warrant a visit or more property that um it is time it's been a long time since our last visit. I could reference their application information yeah. that they use yeah. to pull the permit to contact them and set up the appointment. It's and whether it, yes, and whether it's themselves booking it um or online or me um uh, or them calling you yes. Say. Okay, and does, does that file also do a closed CO certificate's occupancy? Yes, it does. That's in there too, because that's the other phase. Yes. Of, of the permit, it's doing closed. Yep. What was the other part? Certificate of occupancy, CO. Yeah. Not all, not all get there, you have to ask. Yeah, it's a two days and you won't file it. It depends on the size of the project. But then whether they know whoever's working on it. If it's a shed or something, 
if we place it a window or something, they won't think that come out there fine. No, but and if it's certain contractors, they don't need those contracts. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of them. Which is, I mean, which is why I think there's also plenty of people who don't apply for a building permit. Oh, yeah. So right. there needs to be an additional system. Um, and I get why people don't, you know, if they're not even going to show up. Why bother spending the money to apply yeah. for it? Um, and so what building does Burkhog, are they responsible for sending out a building it's, inspector? It's or the Franklin someone... Regional Council of Governments. Right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's Franklin County towns having a shared building department, basically, as opposed to like North Hampshire sure, has sure. their own. I'll put it, thank you. It's not all the time that wants to participate. They decided they would participate. Because I think, like, Sunderland, I know Conway has their own building inspectors, so they don't go through for that. Mm -hmm. All right, I mean, I said, my, <clears throat> my house, I got a building. Well, I don't even remember if I got it. I went online and I applied for a building permit for rebuilding the chimney. I don't even remember. Paid 35 bucks. Maybe I got the permit, but I never heard anything else after it. Yeah, yeah. Got just no response <laughs> at all. No acknowledgement. You paid your money, though, bud. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's all that but, matters, really. But that's... <laughs> Okay, so we need an additional, like you said, another mechanism. Yeah. All right. Yeah, for those that don't know. But I think that's a good start because yeah. that's definitely a category that we would need to look at mm -hmm. or need to consider looking at anyway. Well, yeah, and, and uh, along your lines, you know, we, we also were. were Doing inspections on sales of properties that because most like sales, that house at the end of next to me. Yeah. <clears throat> we haven't been in that in years. Because most, most sales are, are higher than the assessed values, yeah. and we mm -hmm. wanted to make sure we captured everything in the assessed value. So so we would look at oh, it's it's sold thirty four. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. So, the D, so uh, Poplar Hill goes on the list. Yeah, since it's pending. I mean, these don't have. They don't say that. Assessed value, not they, on that page. The way the market is, it's nothing is going to be the assessed value. No, you saw it. Right. Yeah. Now, the, the the other other option is just to look at, at the uh, real estate listing that sh that shows these properties and well, then, get an idea from there. Well, is is this uh, average condition of everything? Is it? Well, that was one it, of your questions: of whether we want to continue doing inside inspections yeah. and. What I'm wondering why you're questioning that. What what do you see as the value of making the change? Well, Easier, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> you're safer doing it that way because at some home homeowners don't have yeah, issues. Yeah, and, but, and I don't know if Stephen has any experience with it or or his boss would. How many communities actually do this like we do? It was Conway. Conway, I don't think it was out that much. Um, we well, we're in the middle of that conversion, so we haven't started. Traditionally, they have. They have. Um, but what you're referring to, like um, what is it, a desktop, a desk review, um, that is also accepted and used by the communities. The desk review, okay, mm -hmm. but not going out or or or. Drive, drive by and see if there was an addition or something different. Not looking. If they don't have a building permit, you're, you're not going to know anything has gone not out. Know. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I can understand people not getting a building permit if yeah. not a builder, though. 
because they might be a little more conscientious. Don't are they more conscientious? Well, well, they have more writing on it. Yeah, yeah. Because that can affect their life. Yes, yeah. But they don't all do it alone. Oh no, I know a couple that don't that yeah. they don't need to. The town's not going to do anything to them. Okay. It's never posted on the house. This building, you never see it. You know, I thought you're supposed to post you it. You are supposed to post it. it. Yeah. I've walked around it a half a dozen times, and there's nothing there. Oh. This is a whole house. Well, maybe I, do you need to post it for new construction? It's obvious. You're oh, probably... I thought you did. I, I don't know. know. Maybe yeah. not. I thought, I thought any construction you have to. Yeah. Any building that had to be posted somewhere. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Maybe I it's on file at the contractor's office or something like well, that. Well, I had that in my house built in the same area, and it was right there uh, on the, uh, the okay. first wall that you could see. Uh -huh. Under plastic, I remember. <laughs> and so, so with for those that are for sale that have to have. Uh, Photos of the interior. I guess we could we could we could go on to Zillow and yeah, yeah, look at that. We can and just Zillow might be better, but I mean, there's an awful lot of really bad real estate photography. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and that, then they make a the room look so big, so big. and also you really I couldn't tell the difference between a wood floor and the new fake ones. I'm sometimes I have the cabin. Do you know what? It, they're just That's so true. realistic. It's hard to tell if it's fake tile or real tile in the picture. That's, That's just true. really, I mean, you're going to know it. Well, and do you assess it differently based on those answers? Yeah, if it's wood floor or it's you know, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's definitely an argument for going in person. Right. That's yeah. a good point. Okay. I mean, just like. I've seen people that have contact paper that looks so much like right. the real thing. It's really right. something. Well, you know? Timber Tech or whichever one that's advertising with RK Miles, their their shtick is you know, looks yeah, like yeah. wood. Yeah. Plastic, but it looks like wood. Everything wood should be. Yeah. Well. I, I can say within the last six months, I've pointed two properties. We sat on my river row, and the values that we had were from uh, the video. What did you say the program was? Zillow. Zillow or, or the other. Uh, Red Friend Fern. Yeah, it's not there because we never went in and, and it was easy for the, the board to look at, or Cynthia to look at the building inside and assess the condition. I went into two of them this past year. We were way overboard in assessing the conditions. That, that was very good based on the pictures. Good, very good. I went in, everything is average. Yeah. This well, been very good. you're answering your own question. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, relying on real estate Picture is not the best idea. Which no, it's is not the best. The whole point of yes. a real estate advertising is to try and make something look its best. I mean, right. they're gonna, you know, you, they're gonna not show you the angle of the house right. yeah. that shows they're the water sewage you. treatment plant in the background yeah. or something. I think they're that, not going to tell you if it has a great view. You know, nothing. But, but but the, sorry, but, but that's what we were kind of convinced to do. In the past, I won't get into a lot of a lot of detail. Who said what or what? But that's kind of what we were we were using to assess some of these properties that we never went inside. Well, what and was the reason we didn't go inside? They never let us in. They inside. never let us in. So how would anything you could do change that? Well, so but if your so, feeling is great, then in those cases, we're going to use real estate if that well, overvalues it. One of the ones I went to was overvalued, and the other one we weren't in. Well, it was a sale, and we weren't in in 10 years. Over 10 years, 15 years, we weren't in. And I went in, and, and everything was average. It wasn't very good, like the pictures showed. But the reason 
we had a reason to go in because of that. Well, the two conditions, the sale and over 10 years old. So. Right, but, but it sounds like you're saying looking at it in person gives yeah. you a better perception right. of what the condition really is. Right. Yeah. It does. But that if we don't go in in person because the residents don't allow you to go in, yeah. it's going to cost them more, not less. Right. Yes, it will cost them more. And that's what we've done in the past. Okay. As if they're, they're hiding something from us. Uh, or, you know, so we go with what we go with. And, and if they don't like it, that's when they can do an abatement. And if they do an abatement, they can't get it unless we go in. So it is like a Section 22. So mm -hmm. I think okay. you've answered your question. Yeah. Okay. So, so the other part of the, of the process of identifying where to go to inspect is to look at the sales, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Well, sales and, and anything over 10 years old that we're supposed to now be required to do, right? Mm -hmm. So you need to come up with a, a way to identify them and no and and notify the people that we like to come out. They're not gonna have a building permit necessarily. So, okay, so yeah. How is he notifying notify? the new owner or the seller? It'll be the new the owner. Way. We usually don't go to the new owner. Okay. Because it may not sell for what they listed. What these are it may not sell for. Right? Sell for over right now. <laughs> yeah, they're over, but, but you know, I mean, we wait. it wasn't always that way, but right now that's what it yeah, is. I think we wait for the new owner. And but not those things, Jen. I mean, don't we know when something sells? Uh, don't yeah. we know who it sold to and yes. who's the new, new yes. owner? Okay. Yes. Yes, when it changes deeds. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so, so. It's true deeds, so. But I don't know if they have phone numbers or. or Some place yeah. has to be their phone numbers. I mean, I don't, they, they have property yeah. taxes they have to pay at some point in time. Right. Okay. When you go in even to, to sign in the, in the bank, I mean, you have to fill out these forms and everything yeah. for the property taxes because maybe the previous owner paid part of them and now they're. You know what they do. Make sure you use the right city code. Yeah. Right, okay, so that's the other part I guess we're we'll, we'll getting at. You can do by by uh, building permits. Mm -hmm. and, and then the second part is is uh, by sales or or deed transfers, I guess if you don't have deed transfer sales. Mm -hmm. And then you got the third is over 10 years. I don't know how you and then to the latter two, I would just do a mailing up to the address. Yeah. Right yeah. The yeah. Okay. And then the yeah. address of the property. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mean, I mean, can you go? Can you go? Is there any place you could go and actually just print out people that haven't been inspected for 10 years? Yeah. Yeah. So, you can do that. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. there you, you can go. You got that. a name. Yeah. Solution. Okay. So, what if, what if you come up with to identify notify these people? What what's your form or letter or whatever? What are you going to use? Um. So email. for the the permits, it would be a combination of emails and phone. Um. And then for the other two, it would be um, a letter. Okay. If you drafted up a letter here. Letter or um, card. A letter or a card. Yeah. Yeah. Similar. Yeah. So it'd be tantamount to like the card that Cynthia Yeah, was like Cynthia was sent. Okay. They just uh, have to be sent out early. Yes. Because she, time. she really had a problem with that. The mail here was really bizarre. I don't okay. know. I don't know how they get it so wrong. I just don't. Okay. Isn't there like um there's no option like a different area for a local mail? No, well, I it's have the zip code to sell here. Oh, field. yes, that's right. That's right. That's what we get. Yeah, yeah. And there is a gray lock lane in this new development at the base of Sugar Lock. So there's a nice woman there that gets my mail and I get her mail. Uh, so this was part of what Amy presented at the town meeting last week. And there was a vote to. Have everybody go to see. I don't like that. You know why? No, it was hell to get that special license. 
You know the new license that you driver's license. Oh, oh yeah, real ID. Yeah, yeah, real ID. <laughs> Where do you have your? You can't use the zip code. Well, it's how, that, that's that's it's a separate problem. I don't think changing the zip code well, makes that any harder. It means I have to do it again because my zip code's changing. Maybe it might be that South Deerfield now, and now they want yeah, to. Make it. it might do that, but the problem is that Massachusetts has a requirement for you to go to the registry with something with your street address in it. Yes on it in a town where we don't get mail to our street address. That's, that's, that's but what they, made it yeah very difficult. Right. Your, your ever source will have your address but it won't have the right zip code. No, that mails you things. Why would it have the right of course I don't get mail from any utility. You might need to do it online. I don't oh, get yeah. mail. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so okay. Uh, when when do you think we you could identify some of the properties for us to look at? Um, well, uh, we need to we'll have a list, list send out tomorrow, and I can Monday the first. I should be able to send out uh, the first round. On Monday, July first, I think that's kind of what we did. What we were kind of aiming for. So it would be around the middle of the month that you could go out. Okay. Do we want to see who we send him to before he sends him out? I don't. Yeah, I care. don't need to because I don't care. Because I'm, I'm trying to think. Yes, I know because. We were. They went out the last time, the people that we didn't, the businesses that weren't even open. Mm -hmm. Right. But, but I thought we had a list before we started inspections in April and May. Uh, Cynthia had a list of all the ones that, that we thought we would go to. Oh, I didn't know that. You didn't see that? I saw so all the list, all the people. Yeah, no, nope. she had she had handwritten. Well, she could have had it for all the people because sales go on the all box. the time. Building permits come in all the time. These were ones that were the question that we needed to go out to look. Oh, that's the only people that she had a list for. Is yeah. the ones that were over the time period because she couldn't have had building permits and she couldn't no. have the sale. Okay. okay. Uh, But what 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 we've seen well so far is, is you know we went out well three times I guess you gave us printouts of the property cards three times and and some some of them were commercial that nobody is there during the evening. Yes, I, I said that. So and uh, he's aware of that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go out um, Wednesday. Uh, We'll find inspectors to look at commercial property. Okay. Well, maybe he could send the list of the things he's made sending out. He could send you the list of the people yeah. and you could review it. Okay. Because I mean, send it to, I don't know how long you've been in the community. Uh -huh. He's been in his lifetime. Right. He knows everything. I know. Yeah. Right. That's why I said I don't need to see it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it won't mean much to me. Unless they live around the corner. And well, and one of the ones you're going to was on the list. Oh, there was one. the list that was there. Uh, yeah, the sales? Yeah. Are you talking about the sale? Sale. Donna? Yeah. No, no, the for other one down. For, on, on, mm -hmm. on Long Plain, actually. Oh, then I don't know. Well, it's that's not in my HOA. No, but it's down the road from you. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Too far. Too far. <laughs> okay, so that that's one one thing of, of identifying these and sending out the the, the notice, and then us going out. 
and doing a review of the property and getting our comments back to Stephen to make changes, if we want to make changes, which would, uh, wouldn't would happen the same, same day. It would be, say, the following week, and then the board needs to approve the changes. This We're is the way it was done with Cynthia, though, right? Right. Okay. right. So it can be done that what way. What does that mean that the board needs to approve the changes if the board has submitted them to Stephen? Well, we're only submitting the conditions that we change. We don't know the, the impact that has on value. Uh, I see. Okay. And not so much the condition. Well, the, okay. the one major item of condition is, is the fact of the year. You know, we kind of play around with that. Right. To okay. make it reasonable. I get it. You know, if, if we're, say, too harsh on effective year and the property value goes up, say, 100000 You can't do that. You can't do that because people are going to be knocking on the right. door complaining. Okay. Now I understand. So and, so has the select board ever said they don't need to kill that? No. Oh, okay. So, so we need to do a final, final approval or action on any changes okay. once he makes them. Yeah. I Why is that going to be any different than it is? I mean, Cynthia wasn't here full time either. The difference is that Cynthia went out with you a lot. Yeah. The assumption is oh, that Steve is not going to be. So it's not like yeah. you come back to the office all together yeah. and do it right then. Oh, well, we, right. She did it sometimes the next day. Oh, okay. okay. And we just handed them to her. Okay. And we left. And when we okay. got next week, Cynthia, she told us what the changes were. Yes. Yeah. So, okay, so, so, it, it, so it is a similar process. Yeah. Right. Okay. But, but without, without Stephen going with us or being here every time we go out, we need to set a date to review all in, I, I guess. Well, also, for the, I think before you had asked um, about my my hours, like if they, would it help if I was present during the, the inspections? Well, oh, like you, still, you still got to come back and enter the changes. Okay, I, I have to uh, yeah. dismiss myself. Okay. Well, it's almost done anyway. You can decide on the next meeting. Okay. This is it. Thank you for your services. <laughs> you want to have At any time, if you need me again, give me a call. This is a bad summer. I have Okay. Four people coming from France. Oh, wow. not a word of English. Sounds like so. I'm fun. locked. This has to be the greatest exit I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. And I just got rid of three people uh, from somewhere else. It's all right. A busy summer. You need any help? You know, come okay. to fall or next year. Uh -huh. Just let me know. Next okay. month. Goodbye, folks. Next month. Thank next you, month. July. See you in July. Yeah, so well, that's the end of the process. It's not just doing inspection, it's no, final, I, finalizing it. I, I understand now because I remember doing that on a couple of properties. Right. So now I know what you're talking about. Because yeah, it's up to the board to approve of that. That's Stephen. He, he works for us. Right. So whatever we tell him to do, he does it and we, we act on it. So, so what? So, and what's the answer to his question about is it helpful to have him on the inspections or not? Uh, probably not. As long as maybe the other answer is if if he was. Available, we, we come here to pick up the property cards at, at six or whatever. That's what we decide to do. And he tells us what the values he gave him the week before, two weeks before, and we're we act on it. And then, you know, we can look at that in 10, 15 minutes, we're gone. Yeah. Uh, we, could, we could do that. What are your hours again? Um, currently, they're one to five. What days? Um, so, one to five on Thursday. Um, on Wednesday, 8 a.m. to 12. Right. And yeah. 
And so, so we, could, we could set that up for Thursdays. You want to do it every Thursday, every other Thursday. What is your schedule going to look like Thursday, in July and August? Um, I mean, that's the other thing. I can't do Thursday of that the week where it's I can't do the 18th. Next week it's four, so. No, but but the week of the 15th was the first, first week. option, right? That's two yeah. weeks of mailing. I can't do the 18th. I can do the 25th. 26. 25th is a Thursday. Well, is, is another day better for you? What? Not necessarily, it, no. It would be Mondays is the other better day for me. I would have fewer stuff on Mondays. I don't really, it's, it's not my preference to do Monday mornings. Okay. Well, no, it, it's an FB in the evenings. You're going to do inspections and ask to be in some people at home, otherwise, you're not going to do it. Right. So. Thursdays, you want to stay at Thursdays? Yeah. Or July and well, August, I guess we'll see how far we go. Yeah. Okay. But I but I can't do the 18th. I can do the next three. Okay. 25th, the 1st, the 8th, July. Well, so it might make sense to pick a different day either the week of the 15th or the 22nd. When are you on vacation? Well, it's most of that week of another 22nd. So can we do the 16th or 17th? Well, it is, it is Stephen we're going to have some sent out to tell people when. Well, the first, he's not, we're not going to have to review anything with him the first time we go out because we won't have done any inspections yet. No, but he's got to notify the property owner. Right. Mm -hmm. So if he's, that will go out one day. Okay. Which means the 15th is two weeks. So the 16th and 17th theoretically are options. Okay. Can we do the 17th? Wednesday. Wednesday. Stay. Um, let me just watch it. It's the third Wednesday in July. 17th, I have to go. I don't think you're on your And you said the 18th didn't work? Right. It was the 17th. Would just for that week, would it Tuesday? Um, 16th, possibility. Just because on um, the 17th, I have um, another board meeting that meets a uh, person third. For you so what I'm thinking is for that we that one, uh, we just need the, just the card. add the cards from you. Okay. But we wouldn't actually have anything to meet about because mm -hmm. we wouldn't have any reports from a previous okay. time. Yeah. So that that works for me. Okay. And the following time for on about Monday through Thursday. Oh. The following week. Okay. So, so August 1st. But you want to stick to third sheets? Okay. So it'd be the 16th to 17th. I'll let you know for sure. Steve. Okay. Yeah, I prefer the 17th if we can do that. If I was sure. it is the 16th. Okay. And then we would start in you know, August. August. Okay.
Yeah, you can do the first king instead of king. That's not the twenty second. August. Yeah. You said it was meant to exist. First, eight, fifteen, twenty ninth, but not the twenty second. Well, I don't know how many dates you think we need. We haven't done many yet, so we're probably going to need them. Oh, Stephen, I think we got to approve the minutes in our last meeting. Did you? And then what was our what was our last meeting at? Um, yes, just April. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 When when it took what well, April eighteenth was that the last? Oh, you went to April eighteenth. Oh, you weren't you weren't with us then. Um, that was just the point, but there was one. Oops. Oh, it's but the first meeting we had with you. The first meeting with there. me was May thirtieth. Okay. And was the minutes taken at that meeting? Yes. Did you take any rolls? No, I would have been to do a Tuesday night, but I didn't get here on time. Do it any time, maybe. I'm going to try the office and do it. Okay. I mean, I took it before. Oh, yeah. So, so did you put the notice or appointment? I got the notice about the election. Yeah. Yeah. Better not. Well, we knew I wanted that in the call. What? You were one of the meeting in the call. Did you know? This is the one that we had um, in the office. In the office, yeah. Yeah, that looks fine here. Maybe. Meeting minutes of May 30th is approved by the board. Okay. So, next meeting probably won't be till August, right? Well, I don't know. Is there anything? Well, for a like, meeting with Stephen. Right. But are you likely to need anything from us before then? I mean, we'll go do inspections the 17th. But... Um, no. Um, 
Nothing um, before then. Yeah. And if there was anything that needed to be signed, do that on the 17th. Good. So we want to turn it over to August 1st, our next meeting with Stephen. Okay, at six o'clock here. We'll see what we need to do that. Now things go on. Whatever. Um, if we do it at five, if he's closer to the end of his work day, and then we could go to inspections at six. That's that better fit your schedule. Oh yeah. Well, five. No, let's let's say five thirty. Yeah, I know it's only going to be probably half hour. I'm just in the inspection at six. So, okay. The other property, I, I guess I keep telling you about Stephen. Is I don't know how many people have this, but you can keep that. That's that mm -hmm. uh, uh, storage building on State Road. Here. We need to figure out how we're going to assess that. Mm -hmm. This is one of the properties we're going to go to on Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Which one, the new one? When they yeah, built yeah. that's yeah. behind the road, right? Yeah. Okay, anything else we need to talk about? I'll let you know for sure the 17th. Okay. okay. Stay at you. Okay. 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 I'm I'm gonna be out of town the 18th until then. You go on vacation, so if you can't do the 17th, it has to be earlier, not later. Okay. Meeting adjourned.